Hi there. What we're going to do now is we are going to construct a triangle that's the exact same as this, congruent. And we're going to use side, side, side congruence, or the side, side, side congruence postulate, however you want to name it. Uh, however, I have nothing down here to kind of help me out. All I have is a triangle and I, that I need to construct one congruent to. Well, it's pretty simple. doesn't matter how we do it. Uh, we're going to use side, side, side congruence, so we're just going to measure sides. And unfortunately, that's what this nice little compass is for. We've been through this plenty of times. By now, we know the compass does an excellent job of measuring distance. So here's what I'm going to do. Break out my straight edge, and just I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a line. doesn't matter how long. Obviously, I'd like it to be bigger than that. So I'm going to try and make it as long as, po ooh, long as possible. Hopefully, the thing doesn't move. Hopefully this is long enough, I'm not entirely sure, but we will try. All right, good enough, at least for now. All right, well, here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna measure this distance of this triangle, and I wanna find, uh, I'm gonna find how long the side is. So I know the side is about, open my compass, that's how big my side is. So I wanna make that segment that long. So I'm going to put my non-pencil end on one side, and I'm going to draw an arc. And hopefully my line is long enough. Ooh, barely. Got it, though. So as I draw an arc that crosses my line, I know that the distance from this point to that point is the same as from the end of the line I drew to where my arc intersects the line. I've got my base. Awesome. Well, shoot, now it's easy. Because now I just need to find out how long these two sides are, and I'll be able to construct my congruent triangle. We go back to the compass. It's an excellent measure -er 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 of distance. So I know that this leg, or side, whatever, is approximately that long. Got it. So I'm going to go to this end, because that's the same end that of the side that the triangle's on. Put the non-pencil in where my arc intersects my line, and I'm going to draw an arc. Now, there's, I'm going to make it kind of big. Now, here's what I'm doing, actually. I'm just doing this thing. Oh, hey, that's where, that's about right. That's pretty darn close to where uh, the vertex of my triangle is. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll make it kind of big because I'm not sure where the other side's going to intersect. So I just got a nice little arc here. Close enough. All right. Pretty simple, but I haven't drawn my line yet. But there's a reason for that, because uh, I need to figure out how long that side is too. So I will again adjust my compass just to the other side though, to find out how long that is. It appears to be about that long. And uh, if I draw an arc along that distance, up oh, a little long, there we go. Cool, crisscrossing arcs. And I'll do the same thing down here. And where my arcs crisscross, that point where the two arcs intersect is representative of that point, the vertex of my triangle. So if I just draw a line from the crisscrossing arcs to each side of the original line I drew, I am able to have constructed a congruent triangle using side, side, side congruence. Awesome.